Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at how to change eye colors inside Adobe Photoshop. I'm Kent and this is Diagraphics. So here we are in Photoshop and I'm using this image by Perea Cafe, downloaded from Unsplash. And the first thing we want to do if we want to change the eye colors of this woman is of course to do a selection around the iris which color we want to change. So let's do this, but first zoom in very close to the eyes. This will make it easy to work with the eyes. So now we need to do the selection for the eyes and for irises I like to use the elliptical marquee tool right here. And to make sure we don't have any issues with hard edges around the iris, we are going to set a feather at 3 pixels. Now go to the middle of the iris, then click with the mouse button and drag a little bit. After you see a little bit of the selection, and while still holding down the mouse button, hold down the shift key and the alt key. This will make sure that the selection is a complete circle and also that it will drag from the middle and out. So now try to fit the selection to the edges of the iris. And here I got lucky, but if it doesn't fit exactly and you want to move the selection, hold down the spacebar as well as the other buttons. When you're holding down the spacebar, you can move the selection around. When it fits, Simply release the mouse button. We remove the eyelid from the selection in a minute. First we want to select the other iris as well. So now go to the other pupil and before clicking with the mouse button, hold down the shift key to get the plus sign next to the cursor. This means that we add to the selection, so the selection for the other iris won't get unselected. So now while holding down the shift key, click with the mouse button and drag a little bit. Now as you can see, even though we hold down the shift key, the selection isn't a complete circle. This can easily be fixed by just releasing the shift key and hold it down again. Then as before, also hold down the alt key and then drag out the selection to try to match the iris. And as you can see right here, we want to move it, so also hold down the spacebar and move the selection. And here it seems to fit, so release the mouse button. Now we just need to unselect the eyelids. For this, I will use the lasso tool. And to make this a quick tutorial, I will just do a rough selection. So go down here, hold down the ALT key to get the minus sign next to the cursor to subtract from the selection. So now simply just carve out the part of the selection that you don't want. Do this in both sides while still holding down the ALT key. When both irises are selected, go down to create an adjustment layer and select Hue and Saturation. Now we have masked out the eyes, so the Hue and Saturation layer only affects the eyes. We can demonstrate this by moving the Hue slider, but we can also see that the eyes right now look very unnatural. And I will show you why if we just disable this Hue and Saturation layer for a second. As you can see, the model has two colors in her eyes, a slight blue-gray color and a brown color. This makes it a little bit harder to make the color changing look natural, which is also why I chose this model to demonstrate this. So let's enable the hue and saturation layer once again. And if the eyes of this woman only was one color, we would in most cases be able to make it look natural by only adjusting these three sliders right here. But for this example with two colors in her eyes, we need to check this box right here that says colorize. And when the colorize box is checked, hue and saturation will also affect blacks and whites. Normally they will only affect colors. So to stop the blacks in the pupil and the whites from the glare to also be colorized, we need to mask this too. So to make it easier, go to the lightness slider and slide this up a lot. Now it's very easy to see the affected area. And as you also can see, I could have done a better job at unselecting the eyelids. But to unselect the pupils, now simply just go to the brush tool, make sure the brush is at 0% hardness and select the color black and while having the mask selected, simply paint over the pupils to mask them. If you want to paint something back, click X to change the color to the white to reveal again. Now do the same thing for the other eye. When the pupil are masked, we can finally change the colors. So now click the hue and saturation layer Set the lightness to zero and start forming the colors that you want. I will start with a brown color. So first go to the hue slider and slide over until you have a brownish color. Then go to the saturation slider and give it a little more saturation. And to make the brown eyes darker, go to the lightness and pull it down. And you can even do very dark brown eyes, like this. So now let's try to do a blue color, so bring the lightness up and go to the blue colors. 
Let's bring the saturation down a little bit to make it look more natural. And the lightness can go up a little bit. And as you can see, it's very simple from here. You can simply just experiment with the sliders. When you're done, you can zoom out to see the result. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can click on one of the videos on the end card right now. Thanks for watching.